All right, let's try some freehand uh, filming here. So here's my new setup. It's a muscle rack. It's a, what is it? Six feet by 18 inches by four feet. And it's got my uh, tees all on it and feeders and supplies. And I have the curtain up right now so that I could uh, get in there. But I got a bunch of Hobby Lobby containers that are all ready to be transformed into enclosures. That's pretty much all I have is Hobby Lobby containers. All those right there are all Hobby Lobby. And uh, those back ones here where the scorpions are. Got those three right there. And these are my 10 gallons. Um, so far I only got one light so I'm alternating it each day and it seems to be working fine. The plants are doing good and the teas don't seem to mind it. It looks a lot darker on here but the tea next to it's pretty light. So that's my roof alata. She's sticking her toes out there. And here's the Postlatheria metallica. It just started webbing lately. So hopefully we'll get a molt, but it's back there in the corner. It doesn't really use the hide or the, the bark. It uses the corner, but it's fairly shaded. So these plants are doing pretty good. All the baby's tears ground cover died. But other than that, it's doing pretty good. This little guy right here, I never got the name of it, but it's really colorful. That's doing pretty good. It's probably the most water sensitive. Um, that goes dry the, for the first before everything else. Everything else can go pretty dry without any problems. This uh, white butterfly plant here, with the kind of... Um, spear shaped leaves that's doing really well in this enclosure i'm keeping it about 50 to 70 um, degrees uh, or sorry percent humidity and the air plants they're doing all right all the ones in this enclosure did they're doing pretty good all the ones in the roof alata died off well there's still one on top there i think maybe the hot glue gun was um warmed up by that point and I probably damaged the plants when I glued them in place. Oh, we're kind of lost focus there. Alright, here's some uh, carnivorous plants that I got right here. They haven't, um, I need to put them in more humidity. They haven't developed any pitchers yet. Normally they'll be hanging pitchers from this and they'll catch insects. I had a gnat problem a while back because all the, the new wet enclosures but um, I let it dry out a couple days in a row, and it seemed to do the trick. So, up on top here are most of my teas. This image stabilization is working pretty good because I shake very bad. I'm really surprised this is working. Alright, so there's the big... OBT enclosure. Uh, it's doing really well. It really seems to like its uh, underground hide deal going on. The false bottom. Here's the new little one I got. Hoping it's a male. It has a false bottom as well. It, it, it made a whole uh, webbed kind of entrance right there. A lot more than the big OBT. My uh, um, female that I just sexed, uh, I don't know, about a month ago. Chitara. Alright, let's go on the back here. There's my three um, Dolichethele diamantinensis. They're doing pretty good. I think I need to spray them down. It's about time. But they all got a cool little corner deal going on there.
Here's my vinegaroons. I need to spray them down, actually. I was meaning to do it today, but I had the, the spray bottle in the other room in the cold. And so I'm letting it warm up before I spray them. But I'll be getting them pretty moist again. Uh, hot and tata. Hot and tata. Scorplings. But they're hiding out, as usual. You don't get to see them very often. Uh... Let's see if I can get this down here at a good angle. Here's the blue foot baboon. You see his little legs back there in the back corner, kind of hiding out. When I came over here, I startled the other one. All right, let's work our way to the right. We've got these two here are Harpactra um, Pulcropes. They're usually out actually lately, but I think when I took up the curtain they ran off. Oh, I'm really liking this guy. Oh, all the lids of these are so dusty you really can't see in there. But uh, this is the, um, um, let's see, what's his name? Uh, uh, shoot. <laughs> it's the... One second here. Let me try to remember. All right, I didn't look it up, but I think it's the Enciocratella. I'm not saying it right. I need to go look at it how to say it. Um, Olivesa, the black and olive bad one. Really cool. It's a, it's a sling, and it's already got lots of colors. There we go. I think it's too close to focusing on it. But it's got the black femurs already, and the and the legs are already nice color. Oh, really can't see it. Oh, well. all right. Moving on to the um, Grandma Stola Polker peas. This is my larger one. I need to do some feedings here in a second as well. That's why I have this all open. But we'll kind of just do a rundown of what I got going on here. And here's the three little gun little ones that I just got. This one just molted today. There we go. Yeah. Grandma stole the polka peas, little guy. Growing, growing. Okay, and here's my uh, Brachypelma albopelosum Nicaragua. Here's my larger one. Uh, you can probably see a furry butt. That's about it. Here's the little ones I got. They all molted the last four days or so. So I'm probably going to move these guys into something bigger already. Uh, yeah. Let's see here one more. Oh, that one's probably up getting the water. I just sprayed these. All right. Now let's move on to the Hetrotheli Villacella. These guys were in a communal, but one really got big and the other ones didn't grow as fast, so I separated them so there's no cannibalism. But uh, this one's about the molt. This is the bigger one. It's uh, about an inch and a half or so. And then here's the two smaller ones. There's one right there. Let's see if we can get a little better lighting. Uh, it's a round container with a reflection. But they already got great coloration. Good patterning. And they make great webs. This one just molted uh, three days ago. It's still down in there, huddling out. It came up earlier when I sprayed. Alright, now here's... Um, Formictopus concerides. Right there. And there's the other one. Right there. These guys are pretty cool. Very big eaters. Oh, I got one minute left on the SD card. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up and uh, continue with the rest with the new card. Alright, I had to dump the card. I couldn't find my other card because I moved just the other day. So I'm still trying to find stuff. But alright, here we go. So back to finish off our list here. Of teas. So here is my um, 
Caribbean and Versicolors. They got their deals pretty uh, webbed up. It's hard to see them. There's the bigger one right there. And the tops are really dusty. I meant to dust these off before I did this video. But it, it's, it happens. Alright. We already went over those. Okay. So here's... I got three um, Avaclaria purpurea. And uh, this guy just molted the other day. There we go. Little teeny guys. There's the other one. There's number two. And there's number three. Number three looks like it molted, but I don't see its molt anywhere. I don't see it anywhere in there. Alright, maybe it didn't. Okay. And we got these are you can't see them anywhere. <laughs> Maybe we can lure them up here. These are the Salamopoas uh Armenia. They're getting pretty close to molting again, so they're kinda hiding out pretty good. Next molt is a hundred percent rehouse. There's one down there, I can see its legs moving around, but they're pretty sketchy. They like to hide. Here is my Rufalata sling. New one I just got. It's doing really well. It's growing fast. I the Rufalata that I got, my first Rufalata is um, the one that's in this enclosure. She was like five inches already when I got her, or something like that. She was pretty big. I didn't realize how big these little slings are. They're just really leggy. Just like a Rufalata is as an adult. The slings are very leggy. Okay, and then here's my um, three Postletheria uh, subfusca highland. So I got three of these guys in here. They're pretty hard to see. We got what, some legs right there. You can see the, sh the silhouette. Um, we'll be doing some rehousings really soon and we'll be able to see these all pretty good. That's really why I haven't really done any videos with them lately, because there's just a bunch of web mess. You really can't see anything. Alright, here's my youthless species red. This is by far like my bravest tea. It's really not scared at all. Check this out. I'm going to open this thing up here. And start filming it, or whatever, and it'll just chill. It doesn't really do much. It's really calm and chill. I don't know if you're in focus there the way I have it. But it's such a cool tea. Really teeny. This thing's probably a year old already. It's like a half inch. It starts to go for the top though when it's open for a little bit here. Alright, I hope that was in focus. <laughs> and then my last one here. Oh no, I got a bunch more to go still. Um this is the Harpactura um, Cafaririna Amber Baboon, I believe. I'm lousy with the common names. And so, I guess last really is just my two Balfouri communals. And at this time of day, they're not out at all. Just the other day, they were out for feeding, but. Here's the one with the five in it. Here's the one with the four in it, which are like a little bit bigger. I might have to rehouse these guys really soon. They're all pushing an inch and a half or something like that. They're pretty crammed in there. And then here's the one that was in quarantine or whatever you want to call it in ICU for a while. There it is. It's it's fed, it molted, and it's looking all right. I haven't seen it doing any shaky weirdness for a long time. I. Um, when I do the rehousing, I think I'm going to reintroduce it back to the colony. Or the communal, not colony. But communal. Alright. So that's pretty much it. Oh. I just broke my thing here. Nope. 
it survived. The screen survived. So, here's how I'm using to feed my teas and keep track of everything. Oh, now I did bust it up. Ah, oh, that's alright. It was cheap. Bought this nice little tablet. Been using this uh, trench lap. It's been working pretty good. <clears throat> I think it clicked back into place. Yeah, it did. Alright. So, there we go. So, there's the setup. Alright, we'll see you guys next time.